Up next, solar versus solar with a battery. Which is better? Hi, I'm Jonathan Green from Taiho, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable energy content. With the battery revolution well and truly here, we are going to look at which is better, solar on its own or solar with a battery. The first thing to look at is how solar and batteries work. Solar panels work by generating electricity from the sun. The electricity generated from the panels travel from your roof down to what's called an inverter. The inverter's job is to change the electricity that the solar panels create from DC to AC, which we use in our homes. This electricity generated will be used in your home first, which is during the day when the sun is out shining. What you don't use will be sent back into the grid, which you'll be issued with a credit from your electricity retailer, unless you install a battery system. If you install a battery system, the excess electricity your home doesn't use during the day will be stored in the battery for later use, most commonly at night when the sun isn't shining. Let's break it down to solar without a battery and solar with a battery. Solar without a battery. There are some advantages to installing solar without a battery. Generally speaking, solar is cheap when you can compare it to the cost of electricity here in Australia. It is much cheaper to install solar on your home or business than to continue paying high prices, which you are merely renting from your electricity provider. In a scenario which you're using most of your electricity during the day, solar will drive huge savings. The electricity generated from the panels will offset your daytime usage. This is common amongst those who have the ability to load shift their usage to daylight hours and especially common amongst businesses who operate in normal business hours. A much more common scenario is a solar system offsetting a partial amount of electricity from your home, around 20 to 50% of your total electricity usage. This means the solar you don't use is exported to the grid and you are issued a credit from your electricity retail. These credits are called a feed-in tariff and range from electricity retailer to electricity retailer. Expect around 4 cents per kilowatt to 14 cents per kilowatt, which is around three times less than what you would charge when you buy it from the grid. There is a reason why your electricity retailer pays you less for solar exports to the grid when compared to what they charge you for it. But we will save this for another video. With very little barriers to entry and an extremely fast return of investment, you can understand why solar has been installed on millions of homes in Australia. The downside is the lack of control because you can't tell the sun when to shine. Solar panels also don't work in a blackout without a battery. This is because then if the system is exporting electricity back into the grid and someone is working on the lines, it will cause a bloody disaster. Solar's other pitfall is the autonomy side of things. Since you can't offset all your usage, you'll need to draw from the grid at night, which is mainly made up of fossil fuels. Solar with a battery. Solar combined with a battery system is a different concept again. The solar will generate electricity during the day and which your home can use. The excess you don't use will charge up your battery system. Then, when the consumption from your home exceeds the generation from your system, which is usually at night, the battery will provide electricity to the home. A solar and battery system is great for autonomy at any given time, day or night, you know you're using your own clean and green generated electricity from the sun, which is awesome. No matter how you look at it, a solar and battery system will save you money. Having a high level of autonomy means that you're using solar you've generated from your panels and stored in your battery, rather than paying huge rates from the electricity grid. Most battery systems, at least all the ones we recommend, also have blackout protection, which means if the lights go out 
and your neighbours are left in the dark, until you convince them to buy a battery of course, your home will be powered by your battery system, protecting you from these occurrences. Installing a battery system that's compatible, which most are, to a virtual power plant is a huge bonus. A virtual power plant is basically one big virtual battery, which is a network of decentralised storage units. Imagine the battery in your home has stored some electricity from your solar panels. Being a part of a virtual power plant will mean if the price of electricity goes up, your battery and other batteries around the country will virtually join together to export some electricity into the grid to support incoming demand. The price of electricity has gone up because the demand is higher than what is available. Your battery and other batteries will help stabilize this event and you will be rewarded. Being rewarded for exporting electricity from your battery into the grid helps drive great savings from your solar and battery systems, which is amazing, right? By being rewarded, we generally mean getting paid money, which is applied to your electricity account. We just wanted to clear that up. On a residential level, virtual power plants are the future of the Australian energy market. The downside of solar with a battery is the cost relative to solar on its own. It's more expensive. If you add up all the pros and put that against the cons, you can see why lots of homes are also adding batteries to their existing solar systems or combining them with their new solar purchase. That was the difference between solar versus solar with a battery. If you're considering installing either one of these on your home or business, give us a call on 1300 22 92 92 or check out our website at www.teho.com.au. I'm Jonathan Green from Teho. Thanks for watching. <laughs>